All right, guys, this is the Hellcat Pro upgrade I've been waiting for, and I know it's the one that you guys have been waiting for. I'm Mike, this is 360 Tactical Solutions, and this is the Floyd's Custom Shop Commander porting on the Hellcat Pro. Let's go ahead and get the disclaimer out of the way right from the start so we can move forward. And I've said from the beginning, I'm super cautious when it comes to having permanent changes done to a gun. I've got to have total trust in a company before I am willing to send something like a slide off to be, you know, chopped up and cut up by somebody, you know, some permanent modification, if you will. That brings us to Floyd's Custom Shop. I have mag extensions and mag wells from Floyd's on all three of my M&Ps. Uh, Floyd's also did the slide work on my four inch uh, M&P 2.0 and it is immaculate still to this day. One of my favorite shooting firearms. The craftsmanship on everything that I've seen come out of Floyd's Custom Shop is just superb. In the circle of M&P owners, it is generally agreed upon that if you own a Smith & Wesson M&P, there are two things that it needs. Number one, it needs an Apex trigger. And number two, it needs some sort of upgrade from Floyd's Custom Shop. Now, here we are today. I am not being paid by Floyd's for any of the videos uh, that I do. I don't receive a commission if you send your gun into them to be worked on, uh, let alone, you know, if you buy things like magwells or, you know, mag extensions. I do like to think that I have a, a pretty good, solid working relationship with Floyd's, though. I believe in the work that they do. Their quality is top tier. Their customer service, nobody in the business can beat it. And really, yeah, I'm happy to talk about the products and services that they provide. Sometimes, like with jobs like this, they do give me a little bit of a discount. They do that because they appreciate the work that I do as much as I appreciate the work that they do. But just so that we are straight, this is not a paid advertisement or review. If this porting job on the Hellcat Pro turned out to be a huge waste of money if it failed, if my gun somehow fell apart in the middle of it, you better believe I would let you guys know that because I would never steer you towards a product that I personally didn't believe in. This is the first batch of Hellcat Pros through Floyd's Custom with that commander porting. You could consider my gun a bit of an experiment, research and development, so to speak. In the few weeks since my slide made it home, I really did push it hard. I had to see if the slide or barrel were gonna have any know, structural issues that would pop up during heavy use. That's important when it comes to a job like this, it really is. Once you have this slide and barrel cut, there's no turning back. You want to know that it's going to be top quality. Floyd's Commander porting, it's a little bit different than some of the other options you may have seen out there on the market. The slide has a fairly large square port cut in the top, and then on the sides, it has two rectangular ports cut as well. Inside of this square port that's cut on top of the slide, you're gonna notice that the barrel has actually two square ports cut into it. Then for these side cuts, the barrel has three ports cut on both sides. Visually, it's super mean looking. Now I did have the uh, front sight relocated just behind the ports. That's nice because as I'm shooting, I'm not really getting all of that carbon buildup onto that front sight so it's actually still visible. I did kind of want to piss off the entire internet by removing that front sight altogether, but I'm a busy guy and I only have so much time for responding to hate mail. Also, I did choose to have that slide and barrel sent off to be coated with a DLC coating. Now, a lot of you guys know that I do my own Cerakote work and I could have saved a little bit of money and a whole lot of time by having them just send everything back to me raw and then I could have done the Cerakote work. Floyd's does offer two different options for the finish. You can have it Cerakoted, but you can also have the DLC done. Now DLC is super durable and because this is my daily carry and I beat the shit out of this gun, I really wanted to do DLC and see just how durable it was going to be. I actually don't think I have anything else in my collection um, that is done in DLC. So this should be pretty good to see how long this coating lasts on here. So let's talk about some details about that commander port that Floyd's does. It is the absolute pinnacle of precision work. Now. When you send your stuff in, you're not gonna send your frame, you're going to send just your slide, uh, barrel, and guide rod. 
you need to send all three pieces because that gives them the ability to make sure that everything is lined up precisely where it's going to be when you mount it back onto your gun. Floyd's also does their porting just a little bit different than a lot of other shops do. And I'm, I'm not just talking about, you know, the size and shape and number of cuts that they do for their porting. Sure, having that additional couple of ports on each side of the barrel, it does make a huge difference. But what I really want to take a moment and talk about is uh, the process of back boring your barrel. I had to have Jeffrey kind of explain that to me. And then I went off on this whole rabbit hole of research so that I really felt, I don't know, confident in explaining to you guys what that means and what it does for your gun. From the beginning of the ports through the end of the barrel, the inside is machined out ever so slightly. Basically, it's bored out enough to remove the riflings uh, from the beginning of the port to the end of the barrel. That gives you just a slight kind of hot dog down a hallway situation, if you will. Why is this an advantage? Well, with a standard port, the bullet is going to spin its way down the barrel. Now, when it reaches the port on most guns, what's going to happen is the port is going to act somewhat as a cheese grater uh, as that bullet spins and passes through the port. Back boring actually prevents this. There will be no contact made between the edges of the port and the metal casing on your bullet. The bullet traveling down the barrel and hitting those ports, that actually causes just a, a little bit of drag, a little bit of friction, which is going to lower your velocity as if you weren't already losing enough velocity uh, by having all those gases dump out of the port on the way through. By machining out the inner diameter of the end of the barrel, what happens is you don't get that drag on the way through. The projectile is going to head down the barrel, it's going to get to that section, and it's just going to go downrange. That's it. Once it reaches those ports, it's smooth sailing downrange. Your gases are going to escape through the ports, and what's going to happen is your velocities are going to remain very similar to what they would be just coming out of a standard barrel. Now, in comparison, most other companies, what they do is they basically just cut or drill holes in the barrel down here at the end, and they don't do anything with those riflings through here. So your bullet is going to travel down. It's going to hit that area where the riflings come through, and then all of a sudden there's a bunch of holes uh, drilled into it or cut into it. Uh, it's going to cheese off a little bit of the outer coating which is going to slow the the bullet down and then it's going to go ahead and leave the barrel and head down range now i don't have a way to really measure uh the velocity that this has versus you know the standard barrel that's around here somewhere uh, for my second hellcat pro um, i don't really have a way to measure that so all i can tell you is that this is science and it works. Okay, I'm sure you guys are getting backboard to death by now. So let's move forward to the finish. No, not the finish line, the finish. As far as DLC goes, this DLC coating looks really good. And you guys know me, I'm super picky about everything. Um, I have looked this gun over inside and out and it just looks immaculate. Floyd's, of course, does not do the DLC coating and they don't do the Cerakote either. Um, I think they have one or two different uh, companies that are doing the Cerakote work for them. Um, either way, all the Cerakote that I've seen come out of Floyd's looks top notch. I'm actually really happy that I went with the DLC coating on this uh, versus Cerakote. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I love Cerakote, but DLC is much more durable than what Cerakote is. And as far as the color and texture goes, DLC looks closer to the stock finish than Cerakote ever will. All right, nobody wants to sit here and talk about all the little stuff. All you guys really care about is, you know, function, performance, and how the hell does it work? Well, it's definitely flat shooting. You are going to get an increase in sound. You know, just like when you put a compensator on a gun, you're going to get just a little bit more uh, volume out of it than you would with a stock barrel. That is just how it goes. You're also going to get a fireball here and there. But these ports, they certainly reduce the recoil. As of filming this video, I have gotten 2,000 rounds through the ported Hellcat Pro. 
starting to look like old mother Hubbard's cupboard around here. In fact, I'm going to order some more ammo today. I started out this testing process with five to 700 rounds uh, through the gun using the stock spring and guide rod. And what I was using was the 124 grain AAC ammo. I generally use that stuff because it's about the cheapest thing that's out there. After I got a good feel for how the gun was going to perform, then I wanted to switch over to the DPM recoil reduction spring and just kind of see how far we could push it. If you guys watched my review of the DPM system, um, the short spring and short spring retainer were the ones that I got the best results with. So those are the ones that I put into the Hellcat Pro uh, after it was ported. There's a very noticeable difference in felt recoil between that stock spring and guide rod and the uh, short spring and spring retainer uh, with the, the DPM system. It is a difference that I can definitely feel. Uh, it's just frustrating because it's not something that's really picking up very well on camera. One of the things that I'm noticing is a dramatic difference in how quickly my gun returns to the zero position. It's a very consistent difference. Now what I mean by that is when I get my gun up on target and I have my dot where it needs to be, Okay, that is the zero position. Now when I take my shot and the muzzle rises for recoil and then it gets back to that zero position, um, that transition is a lot faster uh, and a lot smoother and more consistent now that I have this thing ported by Floyd's. Now muzzle rise, recoil, uh, we all want to reduce that as much as possible because it makes it easier to take follow-up shots. At the end of the day though, how quickly your firearm returns to that zero position, that's the thing that really matters because that's the moment when you're going to pull the trigger to take that second shot, that third shot, that fourth shot, you know, whatever the case may be. All right, seriously, have you guys checked out these Infinity Targets yet? I have shot the shit out of this one. I probably got 5,000 rounds through it. There's a couple of spots where I've got some blow through, but you know what, it's seriously reusable. I just hit it with a little spray paint and I'm ready to go again. If you want 15% off of any Infinity Target, you can use 360TS as your discount code and get yourself one of these badass targets. Okay, so with my current round count, what it is through the ported Hellcat Pro, I'm feeling very confident in my opinion of this job. Structural integrity, is it still there? Well, as far as I can tell, yes. I've gotten this thing pretty hot. I put a lot of rounds through it taken a very close look looking for any deformation or cracking down in the corners you know the little places that you wouldn't notice it all looks really good i don't see any problems or any areas that could potentially be a problem later on not only is it structurally sound but you are actually reducing a shit ton of recoil with this port job the dlc coating well it still looks great i know i haven't had this thing back for a long time but I do a lot of dry fire practice here in the office. Every day before I leave the house with my gun, I make sure that it's clear and I'll do, I don't know, 15 or 20 rounds of, you know, pulling it from the holster and taking a shot. I like to make sure that I'm comfortable with the placement of my holster, my firearm, and whatever clothes that I'm wearing before I leave the house. I don't see any wear marks in that DLC coating whatsoever. The barrel, the barrel does have a couple of spots where it's wore through, but it's the same standard wear marks that you're gonna see no matter what the coating is. Um, every gun has it. It's, you know, right up here on top and then right on the barrel right here where the front end of the slide rubs. That's just going to happen. Everything else looks really good. And that's surprising because within about two hours of getting this back from Floyd's, I dropped it on the cement out in my garage. One minute it was in my hands going for the gun safe. The next minute, bang, it was hitting the cement on the floor. I'm telling you, carpal tunnel, it's a real son of a bitch. Luckily, we're talking about a DLC coating and not Cerakote. Had it been Cerakote, I guarantee you it would have been chipped and or scratched. Now, like I said earlier, this is a new product or, or offering from Floyd's, the uh, whole Hellcat Pro thing. Um, so right now there isn't a section on their website for it. If you wanna port your Hellcat or Hellcat Pro, I'm gonna leave a link down below. 
what you're going to want to do is go over to the Floyd's website, uh, go down to the contact section and send them an email. Let them know uh, that you have a Hellcat, uh, you want to have it ported. Eh, maybe mention my channel. They will get back to you and they'll walk you through the entire process. I am sure that the more orders they receive uh, for work on uh, the Hellcat, the faster they will speed up the process of adding uh, the Springfield to their website. Once it's added to the website, it's going to be a lot more streamlined. It's going to be a lot easier to, to get the ordering in. The big question I'm sure I'm going to get is about pricing. And believe me, I would love to talk about how much this costs. The problem is, is that YouTube is the worst. If I start talking about uh, numbers, what's going to happen is YouTube is going to flag this as being firearm sales, which it definitely is not. And then this video is going to go nowhere. Nobody's ever going to see it. Unfortunately, YouTube gets their panties in a bunch, so there's a lot of stuff that we can't talk about. Here's what you can do, though. You can go ahead and click that link to go check things out over at Floyd's Custom Shop. At the very top of the page, it says uh, Customization and More. You want to go into that Customization section of the website. Scroll on down until you see Custom Porting. That page is going to give you a really good idea of the cost associated with having a barrel and slide ported. Down a little bit further, you're going to see a link to download the custom work order form for a Smith & Wesson Shield. That's going to be about the closest that you're going to get to the Hellcat Pro. That's going to be the order form that you're going to use if you want to do your Hellcat Pro. It is going to have all the information that you want as far as uh, different options available and the cost for those options. Is it all worth it? Is porting the Hellcat Pro something that I feel like people should spend their money on? I mean, after all, it does cost a few bucks to have this done to your gun. And once you do it, there's no turning back. I do feel like you get a really good reduction in felt recoil uh, with that commander porting. If you couple this uh, commander porting with those DPM recoil reduction springs, it's like a whole different gun altogether. Another benefit to porting is that I can use all my same holsters without having to make any modifications. I can still use my same Makinatec Talon holster on my work days just like I do with the standard Hellcat Pro. Then when it's hot out and I want to go ahead and wear, I don't know, a pair of basketball shorts when I walk the dog, I can switch over to the Filster Enigma Express. If I were using a threaded barrel in a comp, it's not something that would be as easy to do. Now I know a lot of you guys are wondering, you know, the difference between the Hellcat Pro with the comp versus being ported. I'm not going to do that comparison today. That full comparison, that's going to be in the next video, not next week, but it is coming. Um, I am going to be comparing the ported Hellcat Pro with uh, the Hellcat Pro with the comp uh, next to just standard barrel and slide. And how I'm going to do that is the Mantis X. Big shout out to these guys for sending this on to me. I reached out to them, I asked them if they could send me one of these units so that I could do a recoil comparison between each of the guns, and they were like, yeah, heck yeah, we'll send you this guy. I am collecting that data as we speak. That video is going to take a little bit more work because there's a lot of ins and outs to using one of these Mantis X. If you haven't seen these guys before, I'm going to leave a link below for you to check it out. Till that video's done though. If you're sold on the idea of actually porting your Hellcat Pro, hit up Floyd's and get the process started. I wouldn't let anybody else other than Floyd's Custom Shop cut a hole in my slide and barrel. I just don't, I don't have that trust with any other company out there. You won't find better worksmanship or customer service than you do with Floyd's Custom Shop. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, keep an eye out for that final you know, recoil reduction showdown with the Hellcat Pro. I'm really excited about getting this series wrapped up. It is coming very soon, so make sure you've got those notifications on, and I will see you back here real soon.